Holly here to talk about the Project Billing tab. So to start off with, the Project Billing tab now has this settings panel. So you can access this and then it gives a summary of what is already selected with the speed, how the project is billed, and the payment methods. By cl clicking that, you open up the panel where you can change the project speed, the billing method, and any payment methods that a client may have and want to change for a project. We also have a summary at the top of total budget, time logged, time logged in credits, charges, and budget utilization. Under the billing tab, there are now three different tabs, budget, time log, and charges. The time log used to be its own tab in the project navigation, but now it's under the billing. It's the same as it was where you can adjust the project speed and you can add a time log for any project as well as monitoring or deleting any time that has been logged. Any charges that have accrued on a project so far, for example, this one where it was a fixed fee project, can also be seen here. Going back to the budget tab under billing, you can change if a client can see the budget. It's automatically off by default. And if you have a fixed fee, it is automatically going to be filled into the budget field. If you, for some reason, want to change that, and if it, uh, if a project changes scope at all, just type in a new number and that new number will be reflected and then the budget will assess with that new number. Underneath the, time, the budget tracker, we also have a, a summary of the billing. That's true of a custom project, but what about an hourly project? As you can see on an hourly project, we give this warning when there's no budget that just all of the budget is going to be sent to 100% of the charges. But if you have an idea of what you want the budget to be, just put in a number and then you can track your charges just like you would on any project.